Asheville private all girls school sent out a statement this week saying anyone who identifies as female may apply. Harpeth Hall says they have always allowed any female student to fill out an application. But as WSMV's Marissa Sulik wanted to know, will they be admitted? Let's see, I want to show my class. Courtney Vick like is a proud so 2008 like Harpeth Hall graduate. Like Braces, pre-makeup. A school now making their own stance. I received an email from Harpeth Hall the other day, and uh, I'm, I'm very proud of them for sticking up for it. This statement was sent to all students, parents, staff, and alumni this week. It says Harpeth Hall is a girls' school. Any student who identifies as a girl may apply to our school. A step to include transgender individuals, which Vic supports. I don't think people are going to knock down the doors and say, hey, you know, I, I want to rush to Harpeth Hall and be a student. I hope they would as an alum because I had such an exceptional experience. But I do hope that you have some students that previously didn't feel comfortable applying at Harpeth Hall and now say, you know, this is an option for me. The statement says all females can apply, but we wanted to know if they'd be admitted. So if a transgender woman does apply, will she get in? We asked Harpeth Hall that very question. While they wouldn't answer by phone, they gave us this statement saying, for every application, there is a lengthy process before a student is admitted to the school. Like most independent schools, we receive a large number of applications each year for a limited number of openings. I think that they'll look at it on a case by case basis. Vic says we'll see who they admit later. But she knows this clarification is one schools across the country will have to make. To take a stance on this and to be one of the first single sex schools in the area to take a stance on it, uh, you're going to draw a lot of attention from that. We also reached out to Montgomery Bell Academy, the private school for boys, and they say they are not ready to make a similar stance. and They will continue accepting those who are born biologically male at birth. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.